Hi, this is Warner with Warner's Tree Surgery. I'm out at the tail end of Gilbert today. And it's, uh, I think it's November 9th or 10th, 2017. And I'm looking at some citrus trees. Um, there's two of them here I want to talk about. You got the same old thing going on. And I don't know if you can see what I just saw or not, but there's a bunch of little white dots flying around. You got to catch them just right. The sun's got to reflect them before you can see them. And what I think that is, pretty sure, uh, is that is the ash fly. And the reason I think it's the ash fly is because the regular white flies didn't get in citrus trees that much. So I want to start out by uh, looking at this particular leaf, which um, is the Asian citrus leaf miner. It's an insect that uh, originated in Vietnam, came to the valley five, six, seven years ago. It has no natural predator, and this one breeds up to 14 times a year. Because of the leaf miner, the reserve cells on the, that are in the trunk and in the roots of the tree have been gradually depleted over the last four or five years, and as a result of that, all of the other insects that weren't a problem are now uh, able to more easily uh, live on the citrus trees. And so they contribute to the depletion of the reserve cells. In addition, you have the ash fly, which is responsible, I believe, for these dead limbs that you see. Uh, you can see on some of these, uh, you can see the mold, the little black moldy spot. That's one of the things they carry. They carry, they're kind of like aphids. They carry uh, uh, honeydew and they also carry city mold, and they will stay in a tree sometimes until the tree is completely depleted. Now, this one doesn't look all that bad yet compared to others I've seen. Uh, three or four years ago, this, tr this tree would have been uh, in pretty bad shape, but now it doesn't look nearly as bad as some of the others. Now you take a look at this, you can see the insects, including the, the ash fly, which I can see. Every once in a while I catch a little white itty bitty bug flying around. But you can see where they have whiten the leaves, you deposited a aphid-like substance. Some of these leaves, if you touch them, they're sticky. Many of them are uh, shrunk and deformed and never got a chance to grow to full size. You've got places where they've completely sucked all the energy out of the leaves and then the leaves have died. And you can see on the top up there where you got dead branches where there used to be green leaves and all of the all of the leaves died and I believe that that's because of the the ash fly. This is the first year I've been dealing with this. But you can see from looking at this tree 
that nothing is right about it. There are hardly any leaves that are producing a normal amount of energy. So the reserve cells are being depleted on a regular basis every year, a little bit more, a little bit more. And now you got the ash fly in the mix. And this tree is in serious, serious trouble. Okay, so what we do to fix this is I put some stuff in here to kind of kickstart the reserve build up, but that it's not going to do one bit of good unless people get rid of the insects. So I've got a video that will follow, immediately follow this as soon as I get off here, <coughs> that will deal with that and tell you how to go about doing that. So if you got problems like this, you need to get me out here to explain what to do if they're this bad or even as bad as the first one I showed you I need to treat them to get them started off but you need to do everything that you can which is fully explained and what comes next to get the insects under control to not damage them anymore by improper pruning by getting the water amount correct and by uh, uh, proper fertilization and I explain all that uh, in the part of the video that is going to come next. Now I was called out because they have been watching this happen to this tree for the last year and a half and there's nothing I can do for this. This is just toast. It's a technical term. Uh, you know, maybe if I'd have got here a year before, I could have fixed this. But this, I've watched the ash fly stay in a tree until all the leaves were dead and then move as a group to another tree. And I've seen that with my own eyes uh, just by accident one day when I was in the right place at the right time. Hi, this is Warner, and I want to introduce you to our website on citrus trees. The web address is citrustreedisease.com, with a dash between the words, as it is shown above. As you can see, it is loaded with lots of information, and some interesting videos I have made. For instance, here is one we made a few years ago on the Asian citrus leaf miner. Anyway, I hope you will use it as a resource. And if you have any questions about your citrus trees, just give us a call at 480-969-8808. Thank you.